Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. My name is June and in today's video, I'm going to show you what I have in my hospital bag. Right now I'm at 39 weeks and my baby is not here yet. She's definitely taking her own sweet time. So while waiting for her, I'm going to show you what I I'll, what I will be bringing to the hospital. So I'll start off with the main bag that I'm going to bring. So it is this canvas shopper bag from Duck. So what I love about this bag is that um, you can also monogram the name at the bag, but I'm not going to show you my baby's name just yet. Um, so I will link it down below where you can get it from but yeah this is the classic design that I really love so okay, let me scoot back for a moment and then I'll show you what I have um, inside the bag so the first thing that I took out from here is um, masks for uh, wearing around the hospital only because these are the better quality masks they are the kf94 um with the covid cases um staggering here in singapore um i might have to put on a mask while giving birth i'm not really sure but in case um if i have to um i will be wearing these masks because they have they're quite a comfortable design they look like this the other thing that I got is a bag again it's a canvas bag and I really like this design and what I keep in this bag is my young living diffuser so I'm going to diffuse essential oils in the room with me um, to help me get in the zone of giving birth and try to attain a level of calmness while I'm in labor so this is how it looks like along with the diffuser I also have a bag of essential oils so in here I have all the essential essential oils that I may need um, I have peace and calming I have joy and I also have um, deep relief for massage I also have a hand sanitizer very important important and this um, is a bag full of essential oils for my active labor part so I have here laurel seed oil sage and rose essential oil and then I have a small bag I do have a tinted moisturizer I have a concealer a liquid uh, blush I have a duck um, lipstick in first class this is a really 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 pretty color I have an eyeshadow but I don't think I'll be putting on eyeshadow who am I kidding <laughs> so that's all I have in my makeup bag okay and the rest of the things in my bag are clothes for mommy and baby so for me I have two big bags um, with zip locks so I have one for pajamas or clothes that I can sleep in even though I know that I'll be wearing the hospital robe but in case I want to wear my own I I have my own <laughs> and this is my going home from the hospital bag so everything is in here all I have to do is just grab one bag and then go to the bathroom and change um, and then I'll be done um, the other three bags are baby clothes. So she has a bag here for a swaddle. It is a zip up swaddle for newborns, her diaper, and a towel. The other one is a full set of outfit, a romper, pants with mittens and socks, and her um, diaper as well. And the last one is also a full set of romper. They're full sleeved with the um, mitten and socks. There's a little handkerchief and a towel. Uh, no, not towel. And a diaper for her as well. Um, 
I have another bag of necessities for myself. So I have um, the Trinity pads. I also have perennial um, ice pack and also perennial spray for comfort and relief after labor. I also have a disposable mesh panties. Um, I actually brought my own um, undergarments in case I don't want to wear these, but I have both just in case. Um, whichever I want to wear, I have both options for me. And then um, I have some extra Ziploc bags. I, I may want to bring an extra set of clothing. Um, modest clothing I guess um, and then I have a bag I have yet to fill up this bag because we're still using our toothbrushes and um, toothpaste and facial wash um, and shampoo and all these things so just before we leave for the hospital I will put all those things in here and the last thing that I have in my bag is a prayer mat for my husband so that he can pray in the hospital room so that's all I have in the canvas bag I have another bag and but they are um, but they're not filled with um, very very important things so this is the diaper bag that I'm bringing so um, this diaper bag I just have more things for me and baby so I have two pairs of socks for me to wear around the hospital I have um, uh, what do you call this like a delivery blanket or something receiving blanket I think that's what they're called so when she goes home I can wrap her around um, with the receiving blanket and I like that it's yellow this was given to me um, by my sister and it's such a beautiful design because it has scalloped at the ends and it matches the swaddle that I have chosen for her to go home in it's this um, floral yellow orangey pinkish swaddle that goes so well with the receiving blanket I also have a nursing cover it's navy blue and it's really soft and uh, cooling so um, it's going to be really comfortable for both mommy and baby. I have a pack of uh, wet tissue and I have some um, milk bags for spare. I don't know if I'll be able to produce milk immediately after giving birth but in case I do I have milk bags to store my milk in. Um, so it has, this bag actually has a lot of compartments. So and at the front here, I have my wallet. And in my wallet, I already kept um, all my important documents and papers and cards for the hospital stay. So whatever important documents that I may need, they're already in here. Um, at the front pocket of the bag, I have wet tissue. No, no, no. I think I have dry tissues, yes. I kept um, the dry tissues here. Um, the bag comes with a, a changing mat. So I kept it at the back here. So if I open up the magnet clasp, I can reach out for the um, waterproof diaper changing mat. So it looks like this. So the third bag that I'll be bringing is uh, sort of like a cooler bag. You know, it is a cooler bag. And what I will be keeping in here are um, things that I needed to be cold. So I'll be bringing some snacks for myself. Um, I was I already prepared for myself some yogurt drinks and then I also have um, remember I mentioned the perennial uh, pads here so what this is is that um, you soak it in water 
and then it's gonna puff up and you're gonna freeze it and it's gonna be um, a form of relief after birth um, so I have them frozen in my freezer right now already this one is not prepared yet so the ones in my freezer are already puffed up and frozen so I will bring those and I'll keep it in my cooler bag so that um, I can put it on um, after birth hopefully um, to, for relief and um, I'll also be keeping uh, milk if I'm able to express some milk after birth I'll be keeping them in here as well so in this bag um, I'm able to keep the ice pack on each side of the bag here inside the velcro pocket um, which is uh, already frozen in my freezer as well so before I leave for the hospital I just have to reach out for all the frozen things and then just put it in here and then um, but in my milk bag I actually have two breast pumps and they are the wireless ones from um, what is it called baby express so they look like this so baby express makes these breast pumps they are um, wireless and um, hands-free so you can just put it on and then let it express out your milk and um, I think it's really chic and really cute with the pastel pink and everything so I'll be bringing this um, but in case this doesn't work or um, I don't feel comfortable on that day I have another option for expressing my milk which is also from Baby Express it's the uh, silicone cup so when baby is feeding on one side I can just put this on the other side to express the milk manually um, it also comes with a cover so that if I put it on a, on a table or beside me it won't be able to um, spill the milk because it's fully covered so I really like that so I just like to have options so I like to bring a lot of things with me permanent marker that I keep in front to label the milk bags and at the back I have more milk bags so I can reach out for this really easily on um, on that day itself so that's all I have for mommy and baby things but I also have daddy bag so daddy bag is a little bit simpler all he has in there are clothes so this is daddy bag so daddy bag is a backpack which is huge and i totally did not zip it so i try to keep as many clothes in here for him so that he's comfortable um, along with snacks and everything so for daddy bag he has two leaf jumpers he has a t-shirt a couple of t-shirts for sleeping he has a top for going home he has pants trousers comfortable trousers um, he has all his uh, undergarments and also a towel um, for bathing so he will pack um, more things that he thinks he needs before we leave for the hospital but other than that that's what i have in daddy bag um i think that's all for what i'm bringing to the hospital let me know if you want me to make another video to update you on what other things that i used and what other things that i did not use so that it will be helpful for all the mamas out there so i had fun doing all this video for you and i hope to see you soon don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what other videos you want me to do and i'll be happy to film one for you so anyway i'll see you in the next one and I hope you're well with your family. Stay safe, stay home. And I'll see you guys soon. Assalamualaikum. Bye.